Hey guys, so today I'm going to do another dip nail video. These are my old ones. Um, because I don't have a drill, I'm going to be using a nail file to file all the color off of these nails. This one I have to completely take the whole nail off and put a new tip on because it did break at the top and this this only broke I think yesterday or the day before yesterday so these held up for about a week and a half but they hold up I think a lot longer if you don't have tips and if they're not as long and I also am pretty hard on my nails so yes these held up really well considering but I am going to file all the color off of these and put new color dip on. I will be using for the base, oh, this is the wrong one. I have a clear dip for the base. Then I'm going to be using this glitter, which is Bougie Babe by Sparkle and Company. I'm gonna be using this pink. I don't know, it doesn't say what color it is, but it is a pink that came with a kit from Azure Beauty. I didn't really like the base and the activator of this set, but I do like the powders. And this brown nude kind of color, it's C49 by Healthy Natural Nails. And then I'm gonna top it off with some rhinestones to kind of bling it out. So, let's get started on these nails. I am going to file these down and I'm going to take this nail off and then we'll get started. If you would like to see a video from prep to finish, prep to top coat, because this I won't be prepping, I won't be putting on the tips, I'm just kind of doing a fill. So if you would like to see a full demonstration, make sure you check out my Rossi, what is it, Rossi Glam Powder Kit video. And I will put the link in the description box down below in case you are wanting to see a full demonstration from prep to tips to all that good stuff. This is just going to be a fill. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to, like I said, file all these down, all the color off. I'm going to remove this nail and put a new tip on. And then we will get started. Okay, so I have them filed. I have this one fixed. I'm going to skip the step where I'm using the base because I pretty much have a base on all of the nails. So I'm just gonna get right into the color. So I'm doing each hand both hands slightly different from each other but I'm going to start with the brown and I'm going to start with it on the thumb of my left hand and I'm going to do it on my thumb and my pointer finger and then on this hand I'm going to be doing it on the pinky and the ring finger so I'm going to take my base and this is by Rossi the same brand that I used in my and I'm going to do it away a little bit away from the cuticle in my last video which was what I was trying to say okay let's dip it this is the first time I'm using this brown And on my pointer, and then I'm going to do the other hand. Then I'm going to take the activator. This is another step that I do that most people don't. I actually put the activator on between every layer because I feel like it just dries it so much better than if you just put it on top of multiple layers, in my opinion. So, yes, I do this a little bit differently 
than most people who dip do. So while those nails are hardening, I'm going to do the pink, and this is the azure pink. And I'm going to be doing it on my pinky, my thumb, and my pointer. Now I'm gonna move on to my first layer of glitter and this is the Bougie Babe by Sparkle and Company. And this is a chunky glitter. And I'm going to put this on my ring and my middle on the left hand. That's a really pretty gl glitter. And this is just straight glitter. There is no dip in there. Power. So now I'm gonna do the next layer of brown. then the next layer of pink, and then the next layer of glitter. <sighs> Super pretty color. Also, like what I did in my Rossi video, I added some dip in places where it needed to be to make them stronger, mainly just in the tips. But this is them now. Now I need to shape and smooth them down. And then I will be back to put on the rhinestones. So now I'm going to add another layer of activator just to make sure that it's good and hardened. Then I'm going to wait like two or three minutes and then I'm going to start putting on the rhinestones. Now the rhinestones aren't going on every nail. They're just gonna go on three. And I'm gonna be using this pack of rhinestones again like I did in my Rossi video. Okay, so I'm gonna take my gel polish and this is a UV no wipe top coat by Gelixer. And I'm going to put it on my pointer finger on my left hand. And it's gonna go right here. Ooh around the side. And then I'm gonna take 
my dotting tool and I'm going to put a little bit on there just to grab the rhinestones. And then I am going to put this large sized one right here. And then some teeny tiny ones on the sides. So that it looks like that. Then I'm going to take my lamp and put it under for 60 seconds. Then on this hand, my, my right hand, I am going to put it right here. and over here. Then again, with my dotting tool, I'm going to get a little gel on that. And then I'm going to place them where I need to. That's that side. Of course, they're not the right way up that I need them. There we go. One more. Now, I'm gonna carefully put them where I need them. There we go. And then there's are those two. So then I'm gonna put them under the lamp for 60 seconds as well. Uh-oh, 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 I bumped that one. Oh no, that instantly adhered them just for like two seconds, you guys. No! All right, I was able to get them out, off at least. Let's fix those. So I was able to fix them. So now I'm going to put these away and then I'm going to put the top coat on all my nails and put them under the lid. So now I'm going to use my gel Elixir top coat again. And I do these nails separate from my thumbs because I find that I can't get my thumbs in the right position when I'm trying to dry the tops of the other nails so but I'm just going to put this top coat on all four of these nails and then I like to put them under the lamp since I do kind of a thick layer I don't do super thick but I do kind of a thick layer of gel 
I like to put them under the lamp for five minutes on the top. And then since I do put on the underside, I put some gel just to, to make sure it doesn't peel off. I like to do the underside for about three minutes. That way I know that it's completely dry. So now I'm going to, the, this lamp does 60 second intervals. So I'm gonna put it under for 60 seconds five times. And then I'm going to do it underneath three times and then I repeat for all the other nails. So I'm gonna do that and then I will be back to show you the finished look. So now after putting the gel on, I'm gonna take this little cotton wipe and some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and I'm just going to just wipe any of the stickiness off my nails and then I will show you the finished look. Okay. Let's put the lid on. And here are the finished nails. Now this one, this is the one that got messed up with the limestones. And the middle one kind of turned dark. But, oh well. Okay, so here's the nails. There's the rhinestone design, the glitters. And like I said, they're slightly different on each hand. But that's the way I actually followed a picture and that's the way they looked in the picture. So I wanted to try to do them like that just to see how they looked. And I think they look pretty cool like that. So yeah, there's the finished nails. So let me know in the comment section down below if you wanna see more of these nail videos. I know these were slightly similar to the ones I did in my last video, but I'm gonna to try to mix things up, mix it up with colors. This was pink and gray. The last one was pink with glitter so and rhinestones. So I'm gonna to try to switch up the colors a little bit. I just found this design and I thought it was so pretty. I have some more like brighter and different kind of colors on the way from AliExpress. So I actually ordered them last week and over the weekend. So they should be here within a few weeks, hopefully. So you'll start seeing some of them and stay tuned for a new AliExpress video probably next month. Not, yeah, probably next month. So yes. And that's everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye!